guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing my January favourites. I just quickly wanna check out there. It is so windy today. I live quite near the sea and yeah, it's just been so windy like all year. So um, yeah, ignore any kind of windy rustling sounds. I'm literally filming right by my window. I'm gonna start off with the most exciting favourite and that is the um, Decay Naked Palette. Now this is a very kind of hyped up product um, and I feel like a lot of people have kind of got over the Naked Palettes um, but I still absolutely love them. I still think they're amazing and yeah, just I still love them. And I don't know if you can see, but I've literally just hit pan on Naked today. But yeah, I've just been trying to use some shades that I don't normally reach for. So I'm trying to get some more use out of these darker ones just because I want to get my money's worth. But I love um, the K shadows. I think they're so pigmented and yeah, I mean, I love the palette. It's just, it's so pretty. Um, it's definitely still one of my all-time favourite uh, eyeshadow palettes. The next product that I've kind of fallen back in love with is from Maybelline and it's one of their colour tattoos. This is in the like popular shade On and On Bronze, which I can't undo. There we go. So it's just a cream eyeshadow from the drugstore. I've used this quite a bit and to be honest, I probably should get rid of this and get a new one. So, um, but yeah, I've just been using this and it's just an amazing quick uh, colour to use all over the lid. It works amazingly as a base underneath any other eyeshadows. So yeah, I love this and it's from the drugstore so it's super affordable. We might as well stick on the kind of eye bandwagon. Um, so I'm going to mention the Emmons K Perversion Mascara. This has just been my favourite mascara. Um, I just love it. It's amazing for the bottom lashes as well but it I don't know, it just gives really nice kind of length and volume and separation and um, yeah, I think it's definitely an amazing mascara. This is actually like a mini kind of travel size that came in the uh, Naked on the Run palette. Um, I'm very intrigued to see what it would be like with the primer because I think it would definitely give a little bit more volume. Because um, I mean, it isn't like crazy volume but for some reason it just works and um, yeah, I don't know. This is just my favourite mascara at the moment. I've got two base products from Bourjois, uh, this is the Healthy Mix Serum Foundation, it's basically more like a gel consistency, which I still don't really kind of notice, but um, yeah, I love this foundation, especially mixed with the 123 Perfect CC Cream. This stuff is amazing and I love it mixed with this, so it just make a really nice base. Um, however, at the moment I'm a little bit more tanned. So I'm mixing a tiny bit of this with my EX1 Cosmetics Invisiwear Liquid Foundation in the shade F200. Um, so I've got this in F, oh not F, I got this in the shade 53 light beige and this one is in 32 light beige. Um, so when I'm kind of not tanned these are just a really good combination. I don't know why, it just evens out my skin without feeling heavy and cakey. It just um, makes my skin look really nice without kind of too much coverage but it's enough that I feel confident with how my skin looks. I don't know, I just, I really like them so definitely go and check them out. Even if you do have oily skin, I actually really recommend the foundation. I have an oldie but a goodie and it is a MAC blush. This is in the shade Pleasure Model and it's part of their Extra Dimension um, blush like a couple of years ago I think. Um, I originally wanted a different shade. I'm not sure if I've talked about this before. I have a feeling I have, but not in a while. I originally wanted a different shade, but they had sold out. So I picked up Pleasure Model, and I love it. It's a really unique kind of rusty, um, ready shade. I don't know, but I think it's so flattering all year round, because in the summer it like adds that warmth, but it's also really nice in the winter. And I feel like this is good if you're in a rush, because... I don't have to kind of bronze or contour my skin. I feel like this kind of sculpts my face a little bit um, by just being a really kind of unique colour blush. The last product is from Vaseline. This is their Spray and Go Body Moisturiser. This is a brand new bottle. But this stuff is really good. Um, it just moisturises your skin really quickly. And um, so you can literally get dressed straight away. I love this stuff. Um, especially if you're really lazy with moisturisers, this would be a good option for you. I'd literally just finished filming, so I'm sorry if the camera has moved slightly, but I just remembered I have another favourite. And um, these are the model's own Hypergel nail polishes. I got a set for Christmas from my auntie. Um, 
and I really love the formula of these nail polishes. The one thing I must say is I do find them a little bit tricky to hold just because of like the lid, it's quite chunky. Um, but I love the formula of these. I have two colours here. I've got blue glint and naked glow. Naked glow is probably one of my favourites. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you this one as well just because I love the formula. So that is everything. A really quick and speedy January favourites. But I hope you were well and perhaps found some new products here or rediscovered some old products that I mentioned. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.